30 year old pregnant female complaining of hearing loss in both years since last five months let me tell you anytime they gave you a lady with the bilateral hearing loss we see a young lady in the reproductive age group and the both ear have hearing loss the only diagnosis in my mind is otosclerosis my dear friends they ask common things very commonly okay but you know what what to say they say choose the most appropriate diagnosis huh so first of all we mark the correct one only okay and then we overthink there are two problems we are facing in the examination one is casual behavior means i don't read all the four choices and i just mark out the first and second choice second is we are over cautious means we start analyzing we start telling ourselves ye bhi ho sakta ha ye bhi ho sakta wo bhi ho sakta the examiner is also saying that or maybe three or four possibilities are there but is asking most appropriate diagnosis most likely diagnosis in this case okay so you know when we mark otosclerosis we behave like mbbs doctor mbbs doctor ha huh? and suddenly the neurosurgeon comes within us cardiothoracic surgeon neurometallurgy when we start in rare rare disorders and we answer is changed and how many of you please comment in the chat box and tell me how many would agree with me this thing that whenever we change the answers of the question 80% time we regret first we mark the correct one only huh? and then we change the answer so guys common things are asked commonly rare is asked rarely whenever we change the answers we mark common thing as rare and we lose the marks there so we will have two learnings now number one will not be careless but will not be over cautious also will mark the most appropriate most likely diagnosis we do understand that there are other diagnoses also possible okay because when patient come to me in the opd even as a doctor i don't have one diagnosis most of the time i have got one and the other is differential diagnosis but he is asking most likely diagnosis a young female with bilateral hearing loss i know the answer the pure to audiometry is given over there okay this is the pure pta pta or audiogram is given over there otosclerosis is a very definite this kind of mark should not be lost i'm telling you you can score very good mark in the paper if you follow certain practices now let's interpret this audiogram now this is the very famous question of audiogram and it would be certainly there this is a otosclerosis question otosclerosis is a cause of conductive hearing loss and in conductive hearing loss we have got a b gap so this is a bc line and this is a c line bc line is above 25 bc is normal ac is poor and this gap is called a b gap and a b gap means conductive hearing loss and we have a special dip called carhart's notch and carhart's notch is a dip at 2000 hertz in bone conduction curve this is the car that's not the dip at 2000 hertz in bone conduction curve and this is a typical audiogram most commonly asked audiogram also now let do one more dip called acoustic dip or noise induced hearing loss it is also called boiler's notch now boiler's notch means that it is seen in the people who are exposed to high amount of noise in the industrial environment like people working in the shipping industry metallurgical industry textile industry they develop the noise induced hearing loss this is a dip at 4000 hertz in ac and bc both it is a dip at 4000 hertz in ac and bc both and this dip is called acoustic dip or boiler notch i hope everyone is clear about that okay now so the beautiful question is mean autosclerosis okay fine now this let us do two more audiogram over here two special audiogram my dear friend mean ears disease damages cochlea mean is endolymphatic high drops too much endolymph in the inner ear and there are we have like this is the cochlea this is the cochlea okay fine now like that meniscus damages one cochlea meniscus is a unilateral disease and it damages the apex first and you know a frequency sounds so in meniscus we have got low frequency sinhl means 250 side will be affected more 8000 will be normal side okay and this kind of pattern of audiogram is called rising audiogram so guys please look at the meniscus audiogram beautiful audiogram let, let me take a meniscus audiogram let's analyze that meniscus is a unilateral disease for god sake in the exam don't do like this aise nahi karna hai wow a b gap maza aa gaya maza to aa gaya number nahi aaye 
मजा तो है नंबर नहीं आया हाउ मेनी इफ यू वुड डू दस दिस कैन ऑफ मिस्टेक इन द पेपर टेल मी इन द चैट बॉक्स ओवर देयर यू नो दीज आर द थिंग्स व्हिच वी डू इन द पेपर नॉट जस्ट यू आई विल आल्सो डू बट व्हेन वी डू दिस मिस्टेक बिफोर एग्जाम वी आर ऑलरेडी केयरफुल केयरफुल इन द एग्जाम एक्चुअली दैट्स व्हाई दिस क्वेश्चन आर देयर टू रिमाइंड यू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कॉमन मिस्टेक वी डू इन द पेपर ऐसे नहीं करना ओ वाओ मजा ये भी गया राइट इज अ डिफरेंट ईयर लेफ्ट इज डिफरेंट ईयर हाउ कैन यू हैव अ गैप बिटवीन राइट एंड लेफ्ट ईयर ना ओके फाइन सो माय फ्रेंड राइट इज नॉर्मल रेड लाइंस राइट नॉर्मल left is snh menius is a disease of one year and menius affect low frequency more than the high frequency that's why there is a rising audible don't forget menier r r r r r r menier rising audiogram so the what what is the type of audiogram in menier rising audi rising audiogram one year normal other year snhl and rising pattern of the hearing loss over there in presbycusis what is presbycusis age related hearing loss we are having both ear involved age will involve both ears okay both ears okay and the age involve the basal turn first basal turn first and in the basal turn we have got the high frequency you know heard over there so in in presbycusis both ear are affected and we have sloping audible you can see right and left both are affected and the pattern of hearing loss is sloping down or degram so how to remember age is sloping you down age is sloping you down na and mean ear r r r r r r mean ear is rising or degram okay i hope everyone is clear about these two special audiograms and these two special dips in the audiogram they are standard question let's not really you know like worry about you know like tough tough questions let worry about the simple question and the moderate questions which will easily score and pass the paper because some unknown question will surely be there okay now everybody regarding otosclerosis it's the fixation of foot plate of stapes and it typically disease of young female it's mostly bilateral disease and patient will be having bilateral gradually progressive conductive hearing loss and in this patient the early stage is pink in color and in the early stage schwartz sign is positive Schwartz and Pollard means there is a flamingo pink appearance behind tympanic membrane. And my dear friend, in otosclerosis question, if Schwartz is positive, treatment is not surgery. The drug of choice is oral sodium fluoride. So if they ask you treatment of choice of otosclerosis with Schwartz and positive, then you have to write sodium fluoride therapy. Otherwise, treatment of choice is surgery. The best surgery name is stapedotomy. Otherwise, stapedectomy. Stapedotomy is a better name than stapedectomy. first of all open the middle ear tympanotomy and then fixed stapes is replaced with artificial stapes piston processes this looks like a question mark something like a question mark in the middle ear implants is a stapes piston processes and this can be the visual question in the paper also something like a question mark over there and don't forget this picture also my dear friends please look at screen this is my dear friends your malleus this is your incus and what is this device called this is stapes piston processes and what is the name of surgery stapedotomy or stapedectomy in which case we do this the answer is otosclerosis now this i would definitely say one topic you must revise properly from your notes is glue ear okay glue ear also called as otitis media with effusion also called the serous otitis media or secretory otitis media each word is mcq about this topic problem now in glue ear we have got the most common cause is adenoid So adenoid hypertrophy with glue ear is a very commonly asked question over there. Okay, fine. And let's look at this one. This is the typical visual question of otoscopy in glue ear, my dear friends. This is the air bubble trapped in the glue. Whenever they show you air bubble behind the bearing membrane, this is glue ear question. The, generally, a child, a school age child with the with the mouth open because of adenoid face over there and the hearing problem. They might say the patient keeps the TV volume high. TV volume high, or the the teacher must make these children sit in the first row in the class. They have learning difficulty also. So typical profile of the patient is glue ear leads to heaviness in the ear, conductive hearing loss, and number three there will be poor school performance and TV volume is high. Teacher is making the child sit in the first row in the class, and don't forget the adenoid face, the open mouth. and your adenoid face open mouth and the crowding of upper teeth this typical picture of the you know adenoid this is a very sure sure topic actually adenoid glue ear now 
treatment in this case is two surgeries two so don't write one surgery if you write one surgery it's a wrong answer over there the two surgeries are number one maringotomy and gromid insertion number one is maringotomy and gromid insertion over there okay now maringotomy is done in antero inferior quadrant okay my dear friend this is gromid g for glue g for gromid glue needs gromid glue needs g for glue g for gromid my dear friend this is gromid and this is the gromid picture over there. So first of all, you do maringotomy and then you put the gromid. But number two surgery is adenoidectomy. Don't forget that. So number one surgery, number two. If you write only gromid insertion, it's a wrong answer. If you write only adenoidectomy, it's a wrong answer. The patient has got two problems. So two treatment will be required. My dear friend, one more question. What is the best method of adenoidectomy nowadays? Coblation is the best method of adenoidectomy. Adenoidectomy, the best method is coagulation. Okay, fine. Now.